I uh, just got to talk some more about this dial mechanism. Uh, as I said, I've been been a fan of these you know, ever since I was a kid. My dad, being a builder, used to get phones from uh, from where he worked when he was uh, renovating places, and uh, I pulled apart many a phone when I was a child, and unfortunately never kept the devices. I had to get this one off eBay, but I'll open the back of it here. As you can see, there's a, a cammed wheel here that has a bunch of cams that operates this little lever arm. And as the, uh, the spring returns the wheel back to its resting position, it touches this little contact here and opens the circuit n times, depending on what figure you dialed. There's another two contacts here with slightly different sets. One of them sets a little bit before the other that close when you start rotating the wheel and open when the wheel returns back to zero. And probably the part that always used to fascinate me as a kid is this uh, governing device. It's a centrifugal brake. There's uh, two, two parts of the wheel are spring-loaded. They flip out against this brass bush and there's two little, probably Teflon slides. I'm not really sure what material they are. You can see it's driven at quite high speed by some gearing. And it, uh, it expands against the wall and the friction regulates the speed that it returns at. And it, the regulation is really good. The, uh, yeah, I don't know how many of you ever tried to you know, force these back faster than they, they want to go back and they're, they're very resistant to it. Uh, I checked on the Crow, the, uh, the impulses are almost exactly 100 milliseconds apart and um, obviously this used to drive back in the, the days of points and button kind of exchanges, this used to drive mechanical steppers that would step around a contactor and the precision of this device was obviously quite important to the operation of the exchange. Nowadays everything's DTMF obviously and um, or uh, you know, even out-of-band signaling for, for other devices like cellular phones, but this, uh, this simple mechanism that's obviously been around for years is just a uh, truly wonderful piece of engineering. And the polymer engineering to manufacture this is, is also pretty impressive. You can see how it's all triangularized to stiffen it, and um, yeah, pretty amazing piece of technology. This is a particularly pristine example. It cost me $30 on eBay. And uh, it's yeah, it's just too beautiful to write the uh, the twos, com the nines complement digits on it. I was going to write them in red or something on it, which is a more traditional way for labelling a uh, an arithmetic device that uses nines complement. But uh, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So this one goes back in the junk box for some other project uh, in the future. I may build a a nines complement and uh, and normal compl normal digit. Uh, you know, clocking device. You can build it using triple fives in that, in that fashion that I showed before with a bunch of uh, of stages, say you know, a bunch of 100 millisecond monostables and you trigger them at the particular point from the end that you uh, that you want. So if you have, you know, you dial four, you, dial, you trigger it from the fifth one from the end and the very last one happens to be your, um, your next signal as opposed to your, your indexing signal which can be produced by uh, capacitively coupling the output from each of the stages um, outputs and give you a pull down for each transition. Anyway, I thought, yeah, I just had to share my love of this particular uh, mechanism with you guys. Thanks a lot.